Hi, this is Patty Malloy from Positive Listening Radio. The following is part of a series of interviews we did with Jim Gersio, owner of Caribou Ranch. No part of this interview may be shared, uploaded, placed on any website, or transcribed without express written permission from me or my legal counsel. We rejoin our interview as Jim discusses playing with the Beach Boys and playing guitar on Chicago's albums. But Jim, yeah, I think of you as a bass player because I, I, I mean, I'm a bass player, and sure. you know, and I, and I. So the first gig I ever, the first concert I ever went to was the Chicago Beach Boys tour in New York at the Garden in '75, and you played bass there, and you played some great bass on the Chicago records on some of that stuff. I'm You're, playing good. Oh, listen, I'm playing guitar on all your brother's stuff. If you right. leave me now, baby, what a big surprise! Happy man, uh, all that. Uh, Peter and I, actually. We should. I wish we would have continued doing it, but those songs were not Chicago song. Okay, we we cut the track. We, I wanted to do a solo album. Peter, in fact, on one of the boxes, Peter called it JWG and Me, <laughs> <laughs> and those songs were Peter's songs. So I encouraged him as a writer. And uh, well, if if you listen to if you leave me now, I think Danny's playing drums, but I'm playing bass and all the guitars except the twelve string lead. Now, Peter or somebody thinks I did, but I'm pretty sure you're... Blood. I'm playing all the other guitars. I overdubbed about six guitars. Mm -hmm. And I need, it, it was such a great... And then I orchestrated it. I think it was Jimmy Haskell. I think we won a Grammy. Yeah, I think oh, you yeah. did. <laughs> I think, I was gonna, that was a solo Peter project, okay? We used the band, but I mean, I just... We overdubbed all that. At that stage in the process, other than the tracking... The after the after CTA, which is a different process, but in uh, in terms of the Caribou, the band was they were here, but after the tracking, I needed to separate it. I needed to separate it a bit or assign the horn player. Here are the tapes, Jim. You work on the charts. So the process was a, was a little bifurcated because I couldn't deal. Listen, they used to get very upset with me. I said, do you know what a thoroughbred by committee is? And they said, no, no, what's that? And I said, it's a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> very good. So that, listen, I was pretty arbitrary in that by that time. You are listening to the Gersio tapes brought to you exclusively by Positive Listening Radio. But see, I don't, I've never done any drugs, and they, they really, towards the end they didn't, but they, you know, there was a lot of experimentation and problems. I wouldn't tolerate it, say. I say, okay, I need I need Peter and Bobby. We're doing vocals. You guys don't have to come up. Okay, now we're doing horns. And during some, after we did some tracks, Peter and I created all those records with overdubs, a lot of them. The process was really tightly controlled. I remember Jimmy Pank out here, and if you leave me now by his pool, and he called up and he goes, I just heard something that sounds great. Is, is that a record? <laughs> 